So within this video I'm going to show the workflow that I needed to consider when working with my group members for my major research assignment. So I have Revit open here. This is some of the early room configurations that we were looking at for some uh, for a stroke rehabilitation space. So we have single rooms and double rooms. Um, now in order to clean up these files for my group members or for myself to use um, in different programs with uh, Grasshopper Analysis or Ladybird, even the Omnilite um, in 3DX Max, I had to change some of the visibility and graphics that they would export. We don't need the doors, windows or furniture. So I'm going to go into the perspective view for the 3D scene, uh, which you can just find up here. And I'm going to go to the visibility and graphics override window. Now you want to ensure that doors, which is already switched off, we want furniture and furniture systems to be switched off. Um, these have little sinks and things, so plumbing can be turned off uh, and windows are already turned off. So if we apply those settings, you can see that a lot of the room now is empty. Okay, perfect. Now, the best file that I found, which was universal for a lot of the analysis, was the STL file. Now, you can't export it from the floor plan, from the floor plan view. It has to be in a 3D view. So, file, export, STL, ASCII, and you want to use the current scaling system. And then you can save that. Just save it in here. And once that's saved, then you have your file, which can be used across various different programs.